بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل اسٹوڈنٹس ان ٹوڈیز لیسن وی ول ریوائز آور ٹاپک آف فریکشنس وٹ از اے فریکشن اے فریکشن از اے نمبر دیٹ ریپرزینٹس اے پارٹ آف اے ہول اے فریکشن از اے نمبر دیٹ ریپرزینٹس اے پارٹ آف اے ہول As we have discussed this thing in our class, so this is just a revision. So you need to revise it with me. A fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole. So basically, we will divide something into equal parts and then we will make a fraction. How will we write a fraction? Yes, try to revise. We have... how we have done this thing in our class yes the first thing you will do you will divide something into equal parts like you can see i have divided this shape into 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 11 and 12 equal parts right this shape is divided into 12 equal parts when you will write a fraction you will write the total number of parts below the line that is 12 parts and you will write the shaded number of parts above the line how many parts are shaded yes 1 2 and 3 parts are shaded so our fraction is 3 over 12 what is the fraction 3 over 12 that means Three parts out of twelve parts are shaded. Now let's write the fraction of second shape. This shape is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right. This fraction is divided into nine parts. Right. So you will write the total number of parts below the line. And count with me how many parts are shaded 1 2 and 3 parts are shaded how many parts are shaded yes right three parts are shaded and where we will write number 3 yes above the line so this is the fraction right so the fraction of the shaded parts is for fraction number 1 shape it's 3 over 12 and for the second shape it's 3 over 9 students we use some special terms for this fraction and what are that terms called that terms are called number above the line and number below the line these two numbers have their specific names and what are their names these are called numerator and denominator right the number above the line is known as numerator and the number below the line is known as denominator right so a fraction has two special terms or their names the two numbers the number that is above the line and the number below the line these two numbers have their specific names the number above the line is called the numerator and the number below the line is called denominator d4 down so you can use it as a hint as d for down so the down number is known as denominator right understood okay now let's revise the types of fractions how many types of fractions we have learned about yes we have two types of fractions number 1 proper fractions number 2 improper fractions right so what are the proper fractions the fractions in which your numerator is less than the denominator in which your numerator is less than the denominator for example 3 over 5 4 over 9 you can see 3 is smaller than 5 and 4 is smaller than 9 so the fractions in which your numerator is less than your denominator these fractions are known as proper fractions right the second type is known as improper fractions in improper fractions your numerator 
would be greater than your denominator your numerator would be greater than your denominator as you can see in the examples 5 is greater than 3 13 is greater than 10 so these two fractions are known as improper fractions fractions with different uh, sorry fractions in which your numerators are greater than your denominators these fractions are known as improper fractions right okay the next thing before we start the addition and subtraction of fractions we have to revise is like and unlike fractions so the students the fractions with same denominators fractions with same denominators you can see both fractions have same denominator that is 8 so fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions the fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions right fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions right now in the second pair you can see your denominators are different 9 and 7 both are different so the fractions with different denominators are known as yes you are right these are known as unlike fractions these are known as unlike fractions right fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions and the fractions with different denominators are known as unlike fraction so the students what we have revised today what is a fraction a fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole then how we will write the fraction total number of parts below the line and the number of shaded parts above the line and these two numbers above the line and below the line are known as numerator and denominator right then we have two types of fractions proper fractions and improper fractions fractions in which your numerators are less than the denominators are known as proper fractions and the fractions in which your numerators are greater than your denominators these are known as improper fractions and then we have learned about like and unlike fractions fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions and fractions with different denominators are known as unlike fractions hope you have understood the concepts now we will learn how we can add or subtract fractions so students when you will add or subtract your fractions the first thing you need to keep in your mind you can only add or subtract like fractions right you can only add or subtract like fractions you can never add or subtract unlike fractions so in this study level you will only learn about the addition of like fractions how we will add unlike fractions for that we have a proper procedure to convert like fractions uh, sorry uh, to convert unlike fractions into like fractions that we will do in our grade 4 so for now you can see i have a pair of like fractions fractions with same denominators right so how we will add these fractions students whenever you will add your fractions or you will subtract your fractions you need to keep in your mind your denominators will remain same your denominator will remain same as i have a denominator so i will write it same in my answer and we will only add the numerators and our numerators are 4 and 3 we will only add the numerators and our denominator will remain same so add the numerators 4 and 3 4 plus 3 7 4 plus 3 7 so this is your answer understood fractions when you will add or subtract your fractions the first thing you need to check do we have like fractions then we can add or subtract and when you will add your fractions you always keep the denominator same 
and you will only add your numerators right same is the case with your three fractions if you need to add three fractions same you will do you will keep your denominator same students you can see i have like fractions because my denominator is same all are six so i will keep my denominator right i will keep my denominator same in the answer and then i am going to add my numerators what are my numerators 1 3 and 5 right what are my numerators 1 3 and 5 1 plus 3 is 4 yes and 4 plus 5 yes you are right it's 4 plus 5 it's 9 right and 9 over 6 which type of fraction it is yes it's an improper fraction and 7 over 8 yes it's a proper fraction good okay now let's see how we will subtract our fractions you can again see i have like fractions fraction with same denominators right fractions with same denominators so same as your addition you need to keep this thing in your mind first you will check your fractions if you have same fractions then you will do the subtraction right and you will not subtract your unlike fractions again you have to keep your denominator same right we never add or subtract denominators right we will never add or subtract denominators we will keep our denominator same and we always subtract the smaller numerator from the greater one we will subtract the smaller numerator from the greater one so 5 minus 2 it's 3 5 minus 2 it's 3 so 3 over 7 is our answer what we have discussed in our today's lesson we have learned about fraction what is a fraction a fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole how we will write the fractions we will always write the number of shaded or colored parts above the line and total number of parts below the line right and these two numbers have their specific names these are known as numerators and denominators right then we have two types of fractions proper and improper fractions fractions in which your numerators are less than the denominators these are known as proper fractions and the fractions in which your numerators are greater than your denominators these are known as improper fractions right and the last one thing we have learnt about is like and unlike fractions fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions fractions with different denominators as 9 and 7 are different these two are known as unlike fractions and when you will add or subtract your fractions you need to check do you have like fractions yes you can only add or subtract like fractions fractions with same denominators and when you will add your fractions you will keep your denominator same and you will only add your numerators right like i have done in these two examples and same case with the subtraction of fractions you need to check whether you have like fractions or not fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions so i will keep my denominator same because we will never add or subtract the denominators right so 7 as it is and I will subtract the smaller numerator from the greater one. So 5 minus 2 is 3 and 3 over 7 is my answer. Students hope you have understood today's lesson and now you can easily solve your assignment number 3. I'll attach the assignment with the video on LMS and I'll also share its picture on WhatsApp group. You have to solve this assignment on a separate sheet or if you can take out the print that's also acceptable right try to solve the ex uh, assignment yourself and you have to submit it on Wednesday as you know your submission day of assignments is Wednesday 
if you face any difficulty you can leave a comment in the comment section or you can contact me on whatsapp thank you students in the next video inshallah we will start our new lesson that is about multiplication right thank you take care allah hafiz